understand. Proclamation on Thanksgiving Day 2020. On Thanksgiving Day, we thank God for the abundant blessings in our lives. As we gather with family and friends to celebrate this season of generosity, hope, and gratitude, we commemorate America's founding traditions of faith, family, and friendship, and give thanks for the principles of freedom, liberty, and democracy that make our country exceptional in the history of the world. This November marks 400 years since the Mayflower and its passengers faced the unknown and set sail across the Atlantic Ocean. Propelled by hope for a brighter future, these intrepid men and women endured two long months at sea, tired and hungry, to arrive in a new world full of potential. In the winter weather that greeted their arrival, they lost nearly half of their fellow travelers to exposure, disease, and starvation. Despite unimaginable hardships, these first Americans nevertheless remained firm in their faith and unwavering in their commitment to their dreams. They forged friendships in the Wampanoag tribe, fostered a spirit of common purpose among themselves, and trusted in God to provide for them. The following year, they celebrated a successful harvest alongside their Native American neighbors, the first Thanksgiving. This seminal event in the history of our nation is a continual reminder of the power of faith, love, perseverance, prayer, and fellowship. The Mayflower's arrival to the New World in 1620 also marks the arrival of the first seeds of democracy to our land. Absent the rule of a monarch in an uncharted wilderness, these early settlers resolved to create their own government through what is known as the Mayflower Compact. Defined by majority rule through elected leaders responsible for creating just and equal laws, the Mayflower Compact represents the first chapter in the long tradition of self-determination and rule of law in America. 156 years later, our nation's founding fathers resolved to break free from England, building upon the Mayflower Compact to establish an enduring government whose authority came solely from the consent of the governed. This year, as our nation continues to combat the corona, con coronavirus pandemic, we have once again joined together to overcome the challenges facing us. In the midst of suffering and loss, we are witnessing the remarkable courage and boundless generosity of the American people as they come to the aid of those in need, reflecting the spirit of those first settlers who work together to meet the needs of their community. First responders, 
medical professionals, essential workers, neighbors, and countless other patriots have served and sacrificed for their fellow Americans, and the prayers of our people have once again lifted up our nation, providing comfort, healing, and strength during times of uncertainty. Despite unprecedented challenges, we have not faltered in the face of adversity. To the contrary, we have leveraged our strength to make significant breakthroughs that will end this crisis, rebuilding our stockpiles, revamping our manufacturing capabilities, and developing groundbreaking therapeutics and life-saving vaccines on record-shattering timeframes. During this season of gratitude, we also acknowledge those who cannot be with their families. This includes the brave American patriots of our armed forces who selflessly defend our sacred liberty at home and abroad. And we pause to remember the sacrifices of our law enforcement personnel and first responders. We are deeply grateful for all those who remain on watch over the holidays to keep us safe as we celebrate and give thanks for the blessings in our lives. This Thanksgiving, we reaffirm our everlasting gratitude for all that we enjoy, and we commemorate the legacy of generosity bestowed upon us by our forebearers. Although challenges remain, we will never yield in our quest to live up to the promise of our heritage. As we gather with our loved ones, we resolved with abiding faith and patriotism to celebrate the joys of freedom and cherish the hope and peace of a brighter future ahead. Now, therefore, I, Donald J. Trump, President of the United States of America, by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Constitution and the laws of the United States, do hereby proclaim Thursday, November 26, 2020, as a national day of thanksgiving. I encourage all Americans to gather in homes and places of worship to offer a prayer of thanks to God for our many blessings. In witness whereof, I have hereunto set my hand this 25th day of November in the year of our Lord, 2020, and of the independence of the United States of America, 245th. Donald J. Trump. Please stand. Come to the feast of heaven. And sinners are friends. I wait to welcome the lost and lonely to share the cup of my love. Come to the feast of heaven and earth. Come to the table of plenty. God will provide for all that we need. of gladness will feed your spirit with faith and fullness of love. Come to the feast of heaven and earth, come to the table of plenty. God will provide for all that we need here at the table of plenty. We gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God our Father, the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Happy Thanksgiving to you. Happy Thanksgiving. We are, are here uh, representing all of our communities, uh, people who are uh, watching the, and attending the Mass from home also. We offer our uh, beautiful uh, gesture of gratitude, uh, saying thanks to the Lord and saying thanks to one another in this great day, uh, national holiday, but also the day that we turn to God uh, from uh, all walks of life. And so we gather our thoughts and prayers with great gratitude as we
prepare uh, for our Holy Eucharist. Lord Jesus, you came down from heaven to heal the contrite of hearts. Kyrie eleison. Christ Jesus, you are the way, the truth, and the life for us. Christ eleison. Christ eleison. Lord Jesus, you gather all nations, all, all nations into the peace and the joy of your kingdom. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Glory, glory to God in the highest. Glory, glory to God in the highest. And on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. for your great glory. Your God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit in the glory. to God in the highest, glory, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. Amen. Let us pray. Father all powerful, your gifts of love are countless and your goodness infinite as we come before you on thanksgiving day with gratitude for your kindness open our hearts to have concern for every man woman and child so that we may share your gift in loving service through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Sirach. And now, bless the God of all, who has done wondrous things on earth, who fosters people's growth from their mother's womb and fashions them according to his will. May he grant you joy of heart, and may peace abide among you. May his goodness toward us endure in Israel to deliver us in our days. The word of the Lord. Praise your name forever, my King and my God. I will praise your name forever, my King and my God. God is merciful and gracious. So to anger, full of kindness, the Lord. 
Reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I give thanks to my God always on your account for the grace of God bestowed on you in Christ Jesus, that in him you were enriched in every way with all discourse and all knowledge as the testimony to Christ was confirmed among you so that you are not lacking in any spiritual gift as you wait for the revelation of our Lord Jesus Christ. He will keep you firm to the end, irreproachable on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful and by him you were called to fellowship with his son, Jesus Christ our Lord. The word of the Lord. from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. 
As Jesus continued his journey to Jerusalem, he traveled through Samaria and Galilee. As he entered, as he was entering a village, ten persons with leprosy met him. They stood at a distance from him and raised their voices, saying, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. And when he saw them, he said, Go show yourselves to the priests. As they were going, they were cleansed. And one of them, realizing that he had been healed, returned, glorifying God in a loud voice. And he fell at the feet of Jesus and thanked him. He was a Samar Samaritan. Jesus said in reply, Ten were cleansed, were they not? Where are the other nine? Has none but this foreigner returned to give thanks to God? Then he said to him, Stand up and go. Your faith has saved you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Please be seated. A very heartfelt happy Thanksgiving to all of you and your family members and your friends and your extended uh, circle of uh, people. Uh, and uh, for young people, uh, they would turn to each other these days and they say, Happy Turkey Day! <laughs> happy Turkey Day! Well, I wonder if the turkeys are happy. <laughs> Maybe just the one that got away. Right? <laughs> but uh, we are dreaming uh, we are living in a very unique time, right? Uh, never happened in a hundred years, and this is a very special Thanksgiving for us. And I have heard uh, that we are dreaming, people making comments. We are dreaming for the day that we can really uh, be seated next to each other again, you know, slice the turkey, and really enjoy our time and conversation something that uh, before this year we took for granted, but now it has become a dream for us, right? And we are a hopeful people. Uh, we are a resilient people by your presence. You are a resilient people, a hopeful people that one day, hopefully soon, uh, that we will have uh, a cure for this virus so that we can be back together as a loving community of Jesus. It is a discipline of Christian Catholics to come back to give thanks to God every day. Every day we do that. But today it is even more obvious for the entire world, for the entire country, that we are a people of thanksgiving. We come back. Perhaps we may represent the other nine, uh, who matter, no matter who they are, but we represent some people to give thanks to God too, on our behalf and on behalf of the people, right? So we come together with great gratitude. I myself am filled with great gratitude in my heart, you know. Uh, even there's a pandemic going on, you know. I'm very grateful. I'm very grateful first and foremost, for God to place me here at this time to walk with you through the pandemic, which is one of a kind experience. <laughs> I never expected that. I didn't sign the paper with the bishop for that, <laughs> right? But I'm here with you. I'm walking every day with you and then trying to get to know you during this time. And, and we, we walk together, we work together. So first and foremost, I am very grateful for the clergy of our parish for Father Bob, for Father Brandon, who together with me celebrate the Mass and offer Jesus to you every day. We guarantee that. We offer Jesus to you every day. Um, and then confessions and the sacraments uh, inside and outside the church. And But a, a wonderful blessing for me uh, on the start of this journey is to have uh, this companion right here, more handsome than me. Perhaps he played basketball better than me, but I also want to challenge him with some tennis game sometime. <laughs> right? uh, but uh, uh, such a, a blessing for me to have Father Brandon uh, uh, to start the Mass. Imagine the, uh, all of a sudden everybody got to stay home and then I offer my Mass and I, I turn around. The Lord be with you. There's nobody. No answer. 
but then Father Brendan, and also with your spirit. And that brings joy to my heart, <laughs> you see. And then we take turns doing that in the chapel, offering Mass. One is the presider, the other representing you, every one of you, to offer sacrifice to the Lord and give thanks to Him. And Father Bob, too, you know, during this time, he still uh, wants to be with you to celebrate the Mass. And our deacons who are working really hard uh, with the, in their ministry, Deacon Steve, Deacon Dave, they're here. And uh, their, group, their groups, their ministry, their families. I am very grateful uh, for the staff members who are like uh, becoming the essential workers <laughs> during this time when most of our volunteers get to stay home so that we can have the mass outdoor like this. They're working really hard. All staff members are working really hard to fill in and to uh, really provide a joyful, uh, a cheerful spirit during this time, right? And bringing God's life and strength to all of us. Uh, and I'm very grateful for the pastoral council. You know, uh, this group of people uh, have been working with me since day one. We form a strong representatives of the community. And we walk together. And we uh, dream together. We make plans together. So know that I'm very grateful for each one of you uh, during this Zoom time, right? Uh, we meet mostly uh, through Zoom, but we are uh, preparing. We are planning. We are praying. We are asking for light. Uh, that how can we get back together, you know? How can we get back to a new normal, uh, you know? Uh, because being together is so essential for us Christian Catholics. Being together means being lifted up together, you know, being healed together, being strengthened together during this time. And so I am very grateful. And I'm very grateful for Finance Council. We, uh, walk together knowing that all of the locks, lights, and leaks, uh, and all of the other things uh, that uh, need to be taken care of during this time behind the scene. And I'm so very grateful for the Finance Council. If I need money, I turn to them, right? <laughs> and so uh, we have the leaders uh, of those groups are here with us, offering Mass and the members too. And so I'm very grateful. And all of you, um, Ministry leaders, uh, most of you are working behind the scene. Some of you uh, really want to do things, right? Uh, and yet uh, we also have to uh, observe the disciplines of this time. Uh, so uh, uh, some essential things still are happening, like offering food to the poor uh, families in uh, our area. It's still ongoing. Every other week we come out with groups of people, volunteers, and, uh, you know, humbly offer the gifts from the parish to those in need. And then ministers who uh, organize uh, the blood drive, and uh, it is one of the most, uh, the highest numbers uh, of volunteers who donated blood. It's amazing. People love to do things, people for others. People love to, uh, you know, get together. And then the uh, St. Vincent de Paul efforts of uh, fundraising and the fundraising for people with disabilities. And all of those things are wonderful gesture. I'm very overwhelmed with the love uh, that you come to share. I'm very humble with the, the talents and the gifts that you come to offer to God and to each other. And so uh, with all that, uh, and then the presence of the uh, parishioners at the Mass is amazing, very astounding number of people who come back and be here and offer Mass every day, you know, so I am very grateful for all of you. Being presence means being gifts for each other during this time. And so Jesus reminds us of this wonderful gesture of coming back, coming back, gathering together. Introduce yourself to the priest, and it means that we are part of the community. We never separate from each other. We can never be separated from each other. And that is the identity of a Christian uh, uh, community and love that we come to share. 
And so even in the small, smaller ways in our quarantine time at home, perhaps I learned myself to uh, be grateful for small things, right? So, uh, and I learned that from my mother, <laughs> right? My mom uh, would grow some uh, vegetable in the garden, and uh, uh, sometimes I swing by her place, and uh, she always calls me, uh, come home for a meal, right? <laughs> uh, and uh, I, I noticed that even with a little gesture that she does, like she walked the garden, she works the, the soil, and then she would pick uh, uh, some uh, chilies, uh, some lettuce, and then each time she each gesture she does that, she, she does uh, praise the Lord for this chili, <laughs> right? How spicy it is, <laughs> right? Uh, praise the Lord for this vegetable. Praise the Lord for the papaya, right? All of those I learned from my mom. A gesture of gratitude in everything. And so my mom is, uh, is like the super cook for me, the super chef for me. And I learned from her. And I, I'm very grateful for my family. My mom, my, my dad has gone to God, but my mom is always there for me, you know. Um, and then my siblings and my uh, nieces and nephews, they are truly the, 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 the support network that I would come and, and find uh, rest and be myself, uh, being called by first name, right? And then, uh, and then really be there for the family, right? And so I'm sure each one of you also uh, are grounded in, in that kind of a setting with, with uh, your families, your relatives, your siblings, your parents, uh, your husband and wives. During this time, perhaps we grow even closer to each other. And we know what is most important in our lives, right? Uh, the economy can stop for the day, right? But family goes on, right? Uh, uh, it's very important for us uh, to come to God together as a loving family, giving thanks to God for everything, for everything, big things and small things, big blessings and small blessings. You know, if I, the other day I just took a bite of a hamburger and I, I meditated on the hamburger. <laughs> right? It sounds silly, right? But it is. <laughs> it is what it is. You look at the hamburger. Maybe, maybe we're quarantined. We have more time. <laughs> I don't know. But we look at the hamburger, right? And I looked at the hamburger and see the lettuce. Oh, where does that come from, right? It must be from a loving hand of a farmer. Growing it, right? Nourishing it. Make it making it look fresh and deliver to, to the hamburger maker, right? <laughs> and then the tomato. Same thing. The onions. And then the buns. Uh, where's the, the wheat come from? So, uh, and then the cow. <laughs> Think about the cow, right? And all that, in that one simple hamburger, how many people have put words into it? And really make this the beautiful, tasteful, you know, juicy burger for you to take a bite and really f savor the, the, the flavor of it. You know, and so simple things, but if we have time to think through it, and we know that uh, we are all connected, we're not alone. People are helping people. You know, the works that we we can do may have a ripple effect for so many people. Any good works, small gestures that we do, and then same thing. The blessings that we receive, any gift that we hold in our hands, or a spiritual gift that we can feel in our hearts, all of those are truly blessings from God for us. And we are all connected. So we come together gathering our thoughts of gratitude, gathering our blessings. Even with the challenge of the pandemic, it can be turned into a blessing, a purifying experience for us if we offer ourselves to God, uh, for those who love God, all will turn out to be good. And that is the promise of the saints. It is the promise to us this day, uh, moving forward. We ha assume the prayer of our Blessed Mother uh, every day. First and foremost, pointing to God. And then, second, we are blessed among our people. 
My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, who has looked with favor on his lowly servant. And that is the gesture of our Blessed Mother. So I hope that it is our gesture too. This day uh, we have heartfelt uh, thanksgiving to exchange. Perhaps we may not be able to gather too much, and yet uh, with that kind of discipline, uh, our hearts go out to all of you, and uh, your hearts go out to all your, of your loved ones. And let the Lord love us, guide us, heal us, strengthen us during this time. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Please stand now. With grateful hearts and joyful spirits, we now sincerely give thanks to God and offer Him our petitions. For all members of the church, may the love we share in Jesus Christ bring us comfort and peace of mind during these difficult times. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For local and national leaders, may God grant them compassion and wisdom in their decision making. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are sick and suffering, especially from COVID-19, and those who care for them, may the Lord bring them healing, comfort, and strength. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our faith community on this Thanksgiving day, may the life of abundance we enjoy on this land, especially our life in God, Lead us to profound gratitude every day. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Anthony, Hone, Trung, may the Lord shine his face upon them and welcome them to his eternal banquet. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the special intentions of our parishioners today, those attending Mass from home, and those mentioned in our prayer line, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord our God, we can never thank you enough for your abundant blessings. Listen to our prayers and give us the grace to grow every day in serving your holy will. Through We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Plow the fields and scatter the good seed on the land. But it is fed and watered by God's almighty hand. He sends the snow in winter, the warmth to swell the grain, the breezes and the sunshine and soft refreshing rain. bright and good, the sea time and the harvest, our life, our health, our food. No gifts have we to offer, for all thy love imparts, but that which thou desirest, our humble Oh, 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 oh. 
really want to thank you, Lord. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. God our Father, from whose hand we have received generous gifts, so that we may learn to share your blessings in gratitude, accept these gifts of bread and wine, and let the perfect sacrifice of Jesus draw us closer to our brothers and sisters in the human family, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, you have entrusted to us the great gift of freedom, a gift that calls forth the responsibility and commitment to the truths that all have a fundamental dignity before you. In Jesus, through his death and resurrection, we find our ultimate redemption, freedom from sin and every blessing. And so with hearts full of love, we join the angels today and every day of our lives to sing your glory as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. Through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said a blessing. He gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The misery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. 
Look, we pray upon the affliction of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May you make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her chaste spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Elizabeth Ann Seton, with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Kevin, our Bishop, Timothy and Tan, his brother bishops, the order bishops, all the priests and clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us now pray with confidence in the word that Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant us peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, for the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory of yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your holy will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's share a sign of peace. Behold Jesus Christ, our Savior. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to Only say the word, and my soul shall be. Pray. 
precious body, precious blood, here in bread and wine. Here the Lord prepares the feast divine. Bread of love is broken now, cup of life is poured. Come share the supper of the Lord. This is the bread of God coming down from heaven, giving life to us, to all the world. Precious body, precious blood, here in bread and wine.
Let us pray. On this celebration, O oh Lord our God, you have shown us the depths of your love for all your children. Help us, we pray, to reach out in love to all people so that we may share with them the good things of time and eternity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now we ask for the Brendan to help us uh, with the uh, uh, blessing prayers uh, for the food. So if you have brought your food with you or uh, wine bottles, you can uh, raise them up so that Father Bre uh, Brendan will offer a blessing for you. And this also goes for our dear brothers and sisters who are tuned in from home you know, as well. So I'll shoot a blessing through you know, the live stream here. Yes. <laughs> right, and let us pray. God, most provident, we join all creation in giving thanks and praise to you. For generation upon generation, peoples of this land have prospered by your bounty. Continue to make our land fruitful and let our love for you be seen in our pursuit of peace and justice. We ask you to bless this food and wine drinks, which we share with grateful hearts on this day of thanksgiving. Let it be a source of nourishment for both of our body and soul. We ask you to grant this through this prayer through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. And Father Pod asked me to share a few words of thanksgiving to all of you. First of all, I wish you a very, very happy Thanksgiving. On behalf of all my boys, I, I call them, which are all the seminarians that are in various places. Many of them have come back home from their respective seminaries. So on behalf of myself and all of the seminarians, we wish you a happy Thanksgiving. And also from my family to you as well. I call my family the Dang family, which is kind of a cool little play on words there, which is my last name, by the way, if you didn't know that. So I wish you all a very dang happy Thanksgiving along with that. <laughs> but uh, one last bit is, as I was reflecting on our readings here today, particularly through the psalm, the psalm we hear that I will praise the Lord, my King and my God. A lot of times in scriptures, praise is also interchangeable with the word blessed. And so I couldn't help but think during the psalm today on how blessed you know, I am. And if you look in the scriptures, particularly in the Beatitudes, blessed is also substituted for happy. You know, happy are those, happy and blessed are they. So I couldn't uh, help but think about how happy I am, even despite in this moment. And really a little token to all of you today, that even though we might be gathered in many different circumstances and different places and different ways, but that we can still be blessed and be happy this day. And so may you continue to reflect upon that, my dear brothers and sisters. And happy Thanksgiving to all of you. And may God bless you. Yes. Uh, and so I give, I give thanks to God for uh, the gifts of you, all of you here. And those of you who are uh, attending Mass from home uh, all over the months and the weeks uh, that we are together, know that we are together in spirit too. And all of those who are uh, sharing your gifts and uh, supporting us, uh, one way or another, I am very grateful as your priest uh, uh, and administrator. So uh, happy Thanksgiving to all of you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go forth in peace to proclaim the kingdom of God. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. spacious skies or amber waves of gray or purple mountain majesties